Hey everyone, Joe here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to record stereo acoustic guitar using two microphones. So this is my favorite way of recording acoustic guitar. You can get a nice wide sound, a nice balanced tone as well. We're using two Rode NT5 pencil condenser microphones. Um, really great mics for recording acoustic guitar. I also recommend a pair of Rode M5s if you want a more budget option. They still sound really good for the money. I'm going to show you two ways you can do this and then you can compare the sound between the two. So first, and this is the way I normally record acoustic, I use the XY configuration. We have the two mics in the this sort of position um, with the the capsules at right angles to each other. We've got one of the mics pointing towards uh, around the sound hole, maybe, maybe a little bit above, and then the other mic pointing towards the neck. So when you pan these two, um, yeah, you can get a really nice balanced tone uh, across the stereo field. And I've got them centered around the 12th fret. So if I put my hand on the 12th fret, um, straight going straight, perpendicular to the guitar neck, they'll reach the middle of those two microphones. So we're gonna take a recording shortly and you'll hear what that sounds like. The other way you can position them is as a spaced pair where you have them more spaced apart, one sort of around here pointing at the neck and one around here pointing at the body or even, even the lower body around here. It gives you more differentiation between what the, the two mics are picking up you can get a kind of wider effect going on there as well. The recording is more susceptible to phase issues though when, when the mics are spaced further apart. And then also for this recording, at certain points I'm gonna be recording a second take. Um, so in the mix we'll have the two mics uh, both pan to the left and then on the second take they'll be both pan to the right and you get a really wide stereo effect. Uh, and you'll hear exactly what I mean. If you've only got the one mic or you only have DI capabilities, I've got a couple of videos, one for each, uh, on recording with both of those methods as well. I'll leave a link in the description below. I also go into, in those videos, I go into more into detail on how to set your room up and how to set your guitar up and things like that. Uh, but really, we just wanna hear what, what this setup sounds like. Um, but just to, just to touch upon upon your room briefly, you do want to make sure you're recording in a space that's acoustically treated. So uh, whether that's acoustic panels on the walls and, and bass traps in the corners, or if, if you don't have that kind of budget, uh, at least somewhere with a lot of soft furnishings and things to dampen the reverb. So let's get recording. <laughs> So now let's do a take uh, with more of a spaced pair configuration. We've got one pointing just below the sound hole and one pointing and one mic pointing right up towards the neck. So we're getting more of a stereo effect here. So I've got our recordings down. Let's have a listen to those back to back and you can really hear the difference. And now you're gonna hear both takes panned independently of each other. So the first take on the left, the second take on the right and you'll hear a real uh, real wide stereo effect. So those are some really great ways you can get a nice high quality uh, stereo recording of your acoustic guitar. Let me know in the comment section what did you prefer with the XY configuration, the spaced pair, or both together panned opposite each other. And for more recording tips and tutorials, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.